this video will help you to improve your Wi-Fi connection speed and to go from this speed to this speed as well as to know if you are receiving what the internet service provider promised you with. So come and watch. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Consider to subscribe to receive more of these videos. So in this video, we'll talk about how to optimize your Wi-Fi connection speed. So we need first to use and download some apps. These are very handy and helpful apps and software which they are free to use. So first we need to download what it's called speed test. So go to your browser and search for this one or you can download the app from Microsoft Store. So uh, this is the first one. The second one we need to download what's called Wi-Fi Analyzer. This is another app that you can use on your Windows computers. On other devices such as Android devices, there is a wonderful app and it's free as well, which is a Network Analyzer. I will leave the links for both of these apps in the comments below. So uh, after downloading and installing them, and by the way, you can just search for them, Google them, and you will find an online versions. We need first to start connecting our computer, our laptop directly to the router of the internet service provider, your modem or your router. Connect them directly using the ethernet uh, cable. And let's test how much you are receiving from your uh, provider. So this is very important uh, thing. So connect that and start using the app uh, speed test and click on go and then we'll see the speed that you are receiving. So I'm very curious to know how much you are receiving. Please write this in the comment section below. Now disconnect the ethernet cable and connect directly to your Wi-Fi and now you need to do the test again and to test the Wi-Fi connection speed. Use the same speed test app that we talked about and see how much you are receiving. Please write the new the Wi-Fi connection speed in the comment below. Next, we want to uh, access the configuration page of your router and this can be done by using the IP address of your router. You can find this on the back side of your router. Just flip your router and you will see the IP address. Remember this one, write it down and use this one when we need it. So first go to your web browser and write this in the address bar as you can see here and write your IP address. Here we'll ask you to log in first and then you will be able to access the configuration site of your router. Now what I want you to know that there are two different bands, the 5 gigahertz band and the 2.4 gigahertz band. The 5 gigahertz band is faster but providing lower range whereas the 2.4 has further distance and lower speed. So connect to the 5G with 5 gigahertz, which will provide you with higher speed. Now you can test your speed now and you will see the difference. Some routers have just a dual band and you cannot uh, switch from one to other. The router will make the decision for you. That's fine for now, but let's go and use our second app, which is the Wi-Fi analyzer which will help us to select the best channel and frequency for our Wi-Fi. This will improve significantly your Wi-Fi speed and uh, this is by reducing the interference with your signal. There are a lot of channels, uh, a lot of Wi-Fi signals that are interfered with yours. So let's pick the best one. So let's start with the 2.4 gigahertz and here as you can see I have some signals around. I have three and here the channel two, six and eight. These are already 
taken the eight is my channel my wi-fi here so i can improve this by going from eight to eleven which is the best by the way uh, one six and eleven are the best uh, channels if they are available for you so go ahead and select one of them otherwise just select one with fewer signals now let's go back to your router and let's change this to the right one so again to wireless panel wireless uh, option and then go to the channel or control channel and select 11 instead of the one that you have now which in my case it's 8 so now let's apply the same uh, strategy on the 5g or 5 gigahertz now uh, go and switch to 5g by clicking on uh, this option and here you can see which ones are taken and which one are available and this app is uh, recommending the 44 uh, channel 44 so you can select this one or any one which is available as you can see here the 36 is very crowded and that will affect your wi-fi speed a lot so switch and you can uh, see the difference now the same way you can switch to your router page configuration page select the uh, 5g band and now go down to the control channel and switch from 36 which is very crowded as the app showed us and change to 44 click apply or save your settings and this will cause the router to restart and that might take few minutes now run the speed test again and check the new speed if there is any improvement please write this in the comments below let me know if this affect your, your wi-fi performance now the second thing that you want to do is changing another option which is the channel bandwidth so here go to wireless again and then to the band uh, 2.4 and then go to channel bandwidth as you can see here you can change to uh, one of these options 20 40 or both uh, 20 is good with a crowded space if you have a lot of wireless uh, signals around you or if you are in an apartment where uh, a lot of routers are there if not then go to 40 which will improve the bandwidth and the speed here and do the same thing for the 5 gigahertz you can go up to 80 if you want but uh, i am warning you here some devices will not be able to connect especially the old devices if you go higher so be careful with this one and in case you you lose your internet connection then go ahead and connect your laptop directly to your router through the ethernet cable and you can reset this option back to 20. now let's test the connection speed now again and see if this will improve our wi-fi yes it is improved and you can see it's almost doubled the speed and this is a great thing to receive uh, now we can improve that more and we can get better results as you can see here the download speed is 140 and it's much improved than before and here are the upload speed is almost 50 which is the higher that i can get this is my contract so let's do one more uh, chain that will uh, improve your wi-fi speed go to your router or page and search for the when as you can see here and look for dns server so make this manual and let's do it manually here we have several options you can try one by one and see which one is best change the one to the uh, google public dns server and uh, which is 8.8.8 .8 or 8.8.4.4 these are the two google uh, dns servers uh, and uh, let's apply this one and let's do the test if you see that this improved your wi-fi speed then stick with this one uh, if not 
you can switch this to another DNS server that I will share with you shortly. So let's do the test now and let's see. Yeah, there is some improvement here. As you can see, instead of 140, we have 145. Uh, and you can see the upload as well here. So now let's try another DNS server that might be better than this one. Instead of 8.8.8, .8 let's go with 8.8.4.4 or 1.1.1. So let's stick with this one and let's uh, apply the setting. This might take several uh, minutes. And here you can go again and test your connection uh, and hopefully this is better now. So let's see the results here. As you can see, there is some improvement here and I am reaching 149 almost, which is much better. 149 or 150, uh, which it is improved so much. You, so you can keep and uh, try another ones and to get the best of yours. Now, what we want to do is to restart our router and to wait a couple of minutes five to ten minutes and try the test again so after resetting uh, let me show you the speed now look at this it's much improved i have a 156 or even more uh, and this is much better than before so if you want to get better results just uh, change your location change the antenna directions and try different directions look at this improvement now i am getting 184 or 186 7 it's going up and now i am achieving a good improvement 192 which is a great speed now so uh, go and keep changing the directions of your router antennas and this will help you to improve your signal and do not forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you. See you next week.